When we find total surface area of a triangular prism, we're finding the lateral surface area, which is the first half of the formula, and then we're adding the area of the two bases, because when we found the lateral surface area, we only found the area of the sides of the prism. When we find the total surface area, we're also including the two bases. So we already have our information pulled off of our 3D shape from the last problem. We're going to actually just continue um, and use the same shape but we're going to use a slightly different formula. So if you look at your formula chart, it says that the formula for the total surface area of a triangular or of any prism is pH, I'm sorry, big pH plus 2 big B. Remember those capital letters tell us that we have to find the formula, substitute something else in. But first let's talk about what those things mean. As with lateral surface area, big P stands for perimeter of the base and H is the height of the prism. Big B is the area of the base. So we have perimeter of the base times height of the prism plus two times the area of the base. Remember, we don't have a formula on our formula chart for our perimeter, so we're going to do what we know, which is add up the sides. And our height is what we, we use the variable H for height, so we're going to plug that in there. Two times the area of the base. Now we need to go to our formula charts and figure out what formula we're going to use. So we're going to go down to the section that says area, we're going to go down to triangle and across to the formula. And the formula they have listed is one half little b h. Now again, this is one of the other reasons that we cross off the shape because we're looking at the small triangle now. We're not looking at the prism. Now notice we have h equals 15 written below it. That H is the height of the prism, so we're looking at the height of the triangle. Um, so let's take a look first. When we add up our sides, we have 6 plus 8 plus 10. Our height of our prism is 15. Okay, I went too far, that's all right. Um, but let's have a talk about this. When we talk about the height, uh, when we talk about our triangle, the base and the height are the two sides that make a right angle. And if I look at my right triangle, I kind of turn my head a little bit, I see that 8 and 6 are the two that make a right tri right angle. It doesn't really matter which one of them we call the base. The base and the height make a right angle. That's all that really matters. So I'm going to have half of 6 times 8. Um, so half of 6 times 8 is what I'm going to write down there. And now I'm going to start solving those things. Um, 24, 6 plus 8 plus 10 is 24 times 15. And then we're going to have 2 times, half of 6 times 8 is also 24 when I put those in my calculator. 24 times 15 is 360. 2 times 24 is 48. And 360 plus 48 is 408 square inches, which is the total surface area of our triangular prism.